All right, so what do you think it means? What we said, it means service. What kind of service? Not that kind of service. <laughs> Hello and welcome to a new episode of Mini Shitake. I am Flo from Vancouver, Canada. And as always, I am joined by Jay. As always, hello, Jay. How's it going? Hello. It's pretty hot. Still hot. So this year, it's even hotter than what we expected. How about there in Canada? Uh, it's kind of the same here, to be honest. Uh, last time we recorded an episode of Mini Shitake, uh, I don't remember which episode it was, but uh, we were in the middle of a heat wave. And uh, now we're recording. Oh my goodness! Right, and now we're recording again, and we're in the middle of another heat wave. <laughs> like every time we decide to record, uh, we get in the middle of a, of a heat wave. It's not as bad this time. Uh, we're just we're just not used to it here. It's a little warm for me, but you know. Okay, at least you're not yet melting, or are you? I I may or may not be melting right now, but uh, we'll try to edit that out. <laughs> okay, so I have something new to tell you about right. today, Flo. For today's episode, I have not prepared at all. I have no idea what we're going to be talking about. I am going YOLO and uh, Jay is going to show us pretty much at the same time as, as she's showing you guys watching us um, what we're going to be talking about. What is it? So actually, it's a Japanese term that they call Wase Ego. What does it mean? So first things first. If you hear the word ego, it means English in Japanese. Wase means... Uh, actually, I forgot to research about the word wase. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. But what I do know about the term wase is that it means it's a casual term for Japanese English or Japanglish. Oh, so it's like a Japanese way of speaking English. Yeah, it's kind of because these are terms that are a mixture of Japanese. They're their own version of English words for them to be able to understand a certain word. Oh. So, for example, they do know the word McDonald's, which obviously came from America. However, the character Ronald McDonald cannot be pronounced by a lot of people. So they changed oh. the Ronald into Donaldo Mac Donaldo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I'm not kidding. So it's, it's dude, I'm not kidding. So like Ronald became Donald. Yeah, and we're not even talking about the previous president of the United States. <laughs> right. The thing is, if you think about it, Japanese people have a hard time pronouncing R and L, right. most especially if they are joined in one word. So if you think about it, or if, if you try to imagine, Japanese people are trying so hard to pronounce Ronarudo, Ronarudo, Makudo, Naruto. <laughs> Ronarudo, Makudo, Naruto. <laughs> it's like a tongue twister for them, you know? Right, right. So they change it to Donarudo, Makudo, Naruto. Even the word world is so difficult for them. Like, warudo, warudo. They don't say world. They right. say warudo, warudo. Disney warudo. Hence, they invented the term wase ego. <laughs> All right, so let's go into the fun facts. First, wase ego, as I mentioned earlier, are Japanese words borrowed from the English language. As we do know, some wase ego do have some terms coming from different countries, such as Germany and Thai. Um, unfortunately, let's focus more on the English borrowed words. Right. If you are living in Japan or you are planning to visit the country, I think it would be essential for you to know some wase ego so you can understand the locals more. It's like they're using, like, especially if you're an English speaking person, and you go to Japan, they might be using English words, but that don't necessarily sound like English words. Exactly. And unfortunately, some of the words were even changed. Oh. That's why it's very important for you to know so you'd be able to communicate with the locals more. But I chose 15 most commonly 
used Wase Ego. I'm, I'm with you, the viewer. I have no idea what those words are going to be. So let's go. Okay, the first one is Noto Pasokon. Noto Pasokon. Oh, you need to, you know, you need to pronounce it very harshly, like Noto Pasokon. Noto Pasokon. And there you go. Nice. I'm Japanese fluent. It means notebook or personal computer. I, I think I think I think <laughs> I see it. I think I see it. So the combining notebook and personal computer, which is three words. Number two. This is kind of creepy. I have to tell you. Number two is. Service. It means service. Service. And oh. not the service that you're thinking about. <laughs> not, not that service. Not like that. <laughs> the actual meaning of that is complimentary service that is usually given in cafes or restaurants, but sometimes in other businesses like salon, gasoline stations, service. And next, number three, my piece. My pace. My pace. My pace. Oh. It means my pace. What does that what does that mean? Actually, I thought it means my space. That's 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 the first thing I thought about uh -huh. too. Like my I thought my space, but I'm like my space been dead for 15 years. What is this? My pace literally means to allow one's own time to do one's own decision without the opinion of others for example you are a boss of a company and then you ask your employee to do the reports and then your employee is a little nervous oh when is the deadline and when you the boss say ah daijubu, daijubu. my piece it means he is allowing you to take your time or oh. to do it your style. Okay. He doesn't care. It's it's up to you. Okay, let's go to number four. Actually, I heard this word for the first time from my host father. The word is mansion. Mansion. I think we actually touched on this word in our episode about uh, relocating in Japan, which was our previous episode of Mini Shitake. If you haven't exactly. seen, if you haven't seen that one, it's might be popping on the screen somewhere over there go watch it it was a it was a fun one but uh, what is mansion so the way i understand it it's a mansion a big house i actually thought it was a big house too unfortunately if you think about it japan doesn't have anything like that it, it's almost not a real thing because these days Almost everybody lives in an apartment or a condominium, which is a mansion. So if you go to Japan and you hear the word mansion, it doesn't necessarily mean big houses that you see in America, but these are just condominiums or nice apartments. Mm. All right, next word. Let's go to number five. The word is baby ka. It means baby car or baby stroller baby stroller okay that makes sense that actually makes sense baby car stroller that kind of makes sense but i think the reason why they change it into a car instead of a stroller is because the word stroller has an r and an l and another r in just one word so you can yeah. imagine Japanese people would be having a hard time pronouncing it. Sutorora. Sutorora. <laughs> we, we can't say that word. Let's just call it a car. Okay, now let's move on to word number six. Hair make produce. I don't know if I pronounce it right, but it means hair make produce in Wase Ego. And in English, it's just a hair salon. Oh, it's the salon. Yeah, it was very confusing for me I because I would have thought it was like the stuff itself, like the yeah. makeup itself or the or the the shampoo itself, not the actual place. I don't know where the hell they got the word produce. All right, and word number 7. American dog. American dog? <laughs> what a hot dog? It's a corn dog. A corn dog. Usually they make words shorter or easier to say. How is mm -hmm. American dog is shorter or easier to say than corn dog? Can they say corn? I think one 
I think one reason is because in Japan you have several kinds of hot dogs. You got wiener dogs, you got sausages, you got German Franks. But a hot dog is a Corn hot dog. Corn dog doesn't look like. Yeah, hot dog is hot dog. But <laughs> yeah, I, I think one reason is because they only saw it in American movies. But anyway. <laughs> okay, this is another interesting one. Word number eight Coin randori. Coin randori. It means coin laundry. All right. And it has nothing to do with stealing money. <laughs> nothing to do with that. This, this, uh, this one kind of makes more sense than some previous words because we do have coin laundry here too. And that's, that's also what we call it here. I guess some people in the comments probably would argue that you, like the more common term here in North America would be laundromat. I think we showed something like that in uh, one of our early travel in Japan episodes where you were uh, on a business trip. I think it was to Hakodate. And, right. And uh, you, you. Yes, yes. It was the first episode of our Hakodate trip. Yeah. Right. It was the first episode of Hakodate trip, and um, and you show you show the laundry, the coin laundry part of uh, of, the, of the hotel. All right. The next one. The next one is a word that we often hear in anime, and the word is fight all. It doesn't even mean round one fight from Street Fighter, but even though they, it means they, go for it or good luck. They do use it in, uh, in video games like Street Fighter. It does say fight them. That's, a, that's one of their ways to encourage somebody to do their best. Mm -hmm. it's, it's like in schools here in North America, you know, when there's a, a fight that started at the cafeteria and all the kids are like, fight, 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 fight. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's a different kind of fight though. <laughs> Uh, That's the American version of fight. That's the American <laughs> version. But, well, the Japanese versions are a little bit more wholesome when it comes to the word fight though. And now let's go for word number 10. Before we have the baby car and now we're going to talk about the open car. Open car. So is it like a convertible? Yes, it is. Hey. It's kind of funny because they literally converted it into the word open car because actually they're right. It is an open car. Why does America make things complicated it, anyway? It makes sense. I think I think in, in English it's called convertible because you can open it or close it depending on how you want it, right? So you can convert it to an open car or to a closed top car. But because the word convert is very difficult for a lot of Japanese I... people, they change it to open. open. Right. Okay, I don't know about this next word, but we do hear this or we do use this in the Philippines too. The word is biking. It means all you can eat buffet restaurant. I thought I thought it just meant going on a bike ride or something. Biking. Oh, well, okay, just so you know, there are two words that differentiate a motorbike and a, a bicycle. So in Japan, when you use the word bike, it's not the bicycle. They're talking about the motorbike. And then if you want to talk about the bicycle, they use jitensha or... Oh. Jitensha. <laughs> they don't use bike. <laughs> I, I do remember back in the uh, late 90s in the Philippines, there was uh, this Japanese all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant called Vikings. Oh. All right, so what I struggle about the word is that all the words we've done before, they made some kind of sense concerning the word it's coming from. But how does mm -hmm. Vikingu... How does that translate to all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant? I don't know too, but wild guess, eat like a viking. <laughs> <laughs> eat like a viking. Or well, if someone uh, watching the video knows what biking you actually means or what word it came from, just let us know in the comments and uh, this way we'll, uh, we'll have learned something today. All right, the next word is Shingo's favorite word. 
Mobile game. Mobile game. That's a, that's a mobile game. Okay, next one in uh, relation to mobile game is the Sumahu. It means smartphone. The thing is that they can't pronounce fo, so they use ho. Oh. And they combine smato and phone into sumahu. I'm kind of I'm kind of uh, surprised that they don't have like an actual word for 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 smartphone, for cell phone. Actually, they do. They call it ketai denwa. It means electric phone. But because ketai denwa is so formal, right? And these days, you know, like the population of Japan has more elder people who don't use smartphones, and most of the younger generations use the smartphones. Hence, mm. it was the youth who created the word sumahu. All right, so now let's move on to the number fourteen, fried potato. Fried potato. Is it French fries? Exactly. It is French fries. Okay, so I want to know. I want to know. Why do they call a corn dog American dog? But the French fries becomes fried potato. That's a good question. <laughs> right? I feel I feel there's some kind of uh, favoritism there going on. Even though even though French things are you know, pretty popular in Japan, you see French words every, every, like used everywhere. It makes zero sense. Or all the time you see like French words like on uh, on shop windows and stuff like that. It makes zero sense. But when it comes to French fries, they just call it fried potatoes instead of uh, like the American dog. I think it's because with the American dog, Japan doesn't use cornmeal. It, that yeah. that ingredient doesn't exist in Japan. Right. So if they if they continue using the word corn dog, people would be confused. Where did they get the corn from? The corn dog. Yeah, no, I, I get Whereas, that. Whereas, but then at the same time, yeah. they use cake mix to make corn dog. How does that make it American? It's very common. It's very common. <laughs> Sorry, I I lost I I lost it there, but. Oh, yeah, anyway, it's actually questionable because they use French toast for French toast. So they call French toast French toast, but they can call French fries French fries. Yeah. Don't ask me why. I'm not Japanese. All right, it's okay. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll let it slide this time. And last but not the least, one of my most favorite wase ego terms, and that's which means underwear. Underwear. So uh, anybody watching anime and uh, the other side of anime already knew that. It's like if, if you knew what this word meant before we said what it was, uh, stop watching hentai. Oh <laughs> Seriously? Yeah. In, uh, in, in that whole side of anime and manga, there are categories, right? And pantsu is one of those categories. It's for people who just like underwear. And a lot of those mangas and animes are just girls in their underwear doing whatever they do. Why do you know it? Because I know a lot about Japanese culture. Don't look at me like that. Okay, going back. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. <laughs> Those are the main 15 Wase Eger words for you. I hope you learned something from them. And if you have something more to say, or if you do know some other Wase Ego terms, please write in the comments. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you for all that information. As always, Jay, it was, uh, it was very nice. It was very nice to learn new things like that. I'm still very upset about the french fries. Thank you for watching. Follow us on social media everywhere. Uh, if you're not already following the channel, don't hesitate to subscribe, ring the bell, all those things that you do on YouTube. And uh, until then, we will see you all on the next one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.